Howdy y'all, this is Regless Raven, and welcome back to our adventures here in Omori, where last time we found out that Basil was not in the, um, other world, I believe is what it's called, and we, um, found out things with, uh, Captain Space Boy, who is no longer Space Boyfriend. It's really weird. Um, we are back out here in, I guess, the real world, and, um, there's someone at the door, knocking. So, uh, we need to go downstairs to the door and find out what's going on. And, um, yeah. Um, I do apologize about, uh, last couple of days. Went to visit family, and then all of the stuff made my body crash and then work, and oh gosh. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're gonna go on ahead and get in here and get to work because there's someone being obnoxious at the front door. I hear ya. Is there anything different in the sink? Yes, we're brushing our teeth. You brush your teeth. Your breath is now minty fresh. Bathtub. Put it? Else? Some towels and toiletries. Got it, got it, got it. Was there anything in here that we needed to poke? Old computer? No, I don't have time. There's someone at the door. Don't want to play blackjack. Bunch of books. I don't think there was anything in mom's room, right? sleep good in mom's bed. Mom likes a hard mattress. Are these dead? Do you have dead plants? No? Okay. He, he shook his head no, so that to me means no. Hmm. Do we need to light the fire? Nail stuck between the bricks. That's funny. Do we have food? A refrigerator. What is in it? Empty. Stove, sink, dirty dishes, <laughs> microwave. Okay, we need to wash the dishes, don't we? There's no dining room table. Hang on, gosh dang, a shoe rack. Anything outside? No, we're not going outside. Okay. Hello, hello, Raven, are you there? You remember me? It's your old friend, Kill. So I, uh, uh, I noticed the for sale sign in front of your house. And I, uh, heard from your aunt you were moving away soon. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out one more time before you go, or whatever. For old time's sake, you know? Why'd it get dark? What do you like to do? Oh! It switched the, um... Stuff around. Um... I would love to open the door. What happens if we do nothing? That'd be weird. Gosh, he looks older. Hi. Whoa, you actually came out. <laughs> uh, I mean, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you, Raven. I really didn't expect you to come out today. So I don't really have a game plan here. Hey, I know. Let's go to Hobbies. It's a hobby shop in the far, far away plaza. We were out the way, right? We used to go there all the time when we were kids. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Empty picnic basket. Yes, we are saving. A 
Then we'll blow freely in the wind. Okay. For sale sign with a big red sold sticker on it. Your house has been sold. In three days, you'll be moving somewhere else. Is there mail? A classic white mailbox. No mail. Hmm. Oh, I can't go in the street? Darn. This place is this? Wait, hold up, Regan. I know it's been a while since you've been over at my place, but now might not be a good time. <laughs> okay. Empty birdhouse filled with sticks and dust. Should we greet people? Yes, we should go greet people. No. Knock, knock. There's no response. Okay. Let's go. Can I go on the street? Ooh. You shouldn't walk in the street, maybe that's dangerous. I know that. The heck? You feel as if it is judging you. It's a religious figure. Knock, knock, knock. No response? Okay. Cool. Oh, they have garbage cans. A roll of colorful trash cans. The black trash can is for trash, blue is for recycle, green one is for the nature stuff. <laughs> it's called compost. Um... Let's go this way. Why not? Oh, we can go in the street now. Well, that's not the way to the hobbies. Remember, Raven, it's in the town plaza north of here. Okay. We'll go north. Fine. I want to explore. Dang it, Kel. Far away park. The future belongs to the dreamers. Hello. I'm on my way to the church, but... It's a ritual of mine to take a quick stroll before delivering my sermons. I've had a horrible stage fright ever since I was a child, but a scenic walk always seems to calm my nerves. That's cute. Oh my gosh. What? A pail and a shovel. What? Why'd they disappear? The cat up there. A jungle gym. Smells like rusty metal. Can I not talk to the cat? Thanks. A large metal cat. You remember it being a lot bigger. Yeah, well, you haven't been on in a while. Swing set. Smells like rusty metal. A teddy bear. That that sounds pleasant. Life's been kind of stressful lately. When people are watching out here, it makes me put it helps me put things as people. Blah 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 blah. Life's been kind of stressful lately, but people watching out here helps me put things into perspective. I might make it a habit to come to this park more often. I guess sometimes all it takes to relax is to stop and smell the roses. Exactly. An artist is diligently sketching away. Whoa! That's a cool drawing of the park you have there. Ah! Uh oh. Hi there. Thank you. I'm just practicing. That's what you call practicing? But it looks so real. I bet you could even sell that for money. Don't you think so, Raven? Yes. See? Even Raven agrees with me. I can't buy that for me right now. Hey, Raven, can you lend me $20? Haha. <laughs> Thanks. That's so nice of you, but it's not for sale. It, it's for my portfolio. I'm trying to get into art school next year. Aw, darn. That's too bad. That would have looked great on my bedroom wall. You really think so? My name is Mincy. What's yours? I'm Cal, and this is Raven. Hi, Cal and Raven. It's nice to meet both of you. It's nice to meet you too, Mincy. <sighs> huh? What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I'm the first person to say something positive about my drawings. Sometimes when I'm feeling down, it makes me question myself, and it gets hard to move my pencil. No way! I don't believe that at all. I really think your drawings are great. Your drawing is great. I wouldn't be able to do that in a million years. Don't be so hard on yourself, Mincy. Me and Raven believe in you. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I just gotta shake off these, those bad feelings. I'll, I'll try to buckle down and finish this now. That's the spirit. See you around, Mincy. You got this. That's cute. A tetherball hole. Smells like rusty metal. Does everything here smell like rusty metal? 
if I stand in your way. Hello? <sighs> oh, hey. What's up? <sighs> what are you doing here, Kel? You from around this part of town? Oh, whoa, I didn't expect to see you here, Jay. Raven, this is Jay. He's the captain of the football team at my high school. I didn't know you played basketball, too. Eh. <sighs> I'm just here to kill time. It's more of a hobby than anything. You're trying out for the basketball team this year, right, Kel? Maybe you can teach me some of your tricks. Yeah, definitely. That sounds like fun. But maybe another time. My childhood friend Raven here is leaving town in the next few days, so we're hanging out all day like all day today. I'll definitely catch up with you later, though. Sure. We can set something up next week. Same time, same place? Yep. Sounds good. See you then. It looks like, to me, like he's just doing laps, but, you know. The stench of this man is indescribable. What you making that face for, Bob? Is there something on my face? No, not at all. Recycultist? <laughs> we are recycultists. Followers of the Holy Bin. As all have littered, all must accept that they are trash. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Hey, wait, what? We are recyclists, followers of the Holy Bin. As all have littered, all must accept that they are trash. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. That is kind of funny. A yo-yo. Okay, we spoke with them. Hello. Hello, young kittens. I don't know if you've been watching where you're stepping. There's quite a lot of trash around this town. If you happen to find any, can you bring it to me so I can dispose of it properly? Come on, young kittens. Let's help the world one step at a time. Okay, cool. We have a quest to find the trash. Which button is it? This button. Can I have the trash? What if I go around and try to grab that trash over there? You got trash. Okay. Some construction going on here. <sighs> Some things just never change. Okay. Okay, I spoke with him. Let's come grab your trash. Hello? Uh, uh, uh. Drink apple juice! Have you ever heard the phrase, an apple a day keeps a doctor away? The same concept applies to apple juice. Apple juice supports hydration, it contains beneficial plant compounds, and may support heart health. It may also protect your brain as you age. There are no downsides as far as I'm concerned. A fruit cart. It's mostly full of apples. <laughs> wow, surprise. Yes, we are saving every chance we can. Save. That one. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. hello. <coughs> ah, it is such a beautiful day, don't you think? I may not have any money, but at least sunlight is free. That is true. Sunlight is free. There. Olive Beanie. When I was younger, my family used to go to this park a lot. I remember there being a lake with a statue in the middle, but I can't find it anywhere. It, 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 it's that way. I think. You're probably like in the middle of the way, you know? Let's go tell this lady that we found a bunch of trash. Hello, youngins. I see you have some trash with you. Thanks. I'll be sure to dispose of this properly. Here's three dollars for your help. <laughs> do, I, do I have more? Hello, youngins. I don't know if you've been watching what you're stepping. Okay, so she, she gives us a dollar per thing of trash we get. Alright, that's fine. A vending machine. Okay. We got three dollars? No. <laughs> is this where we're supposed to go? Ooh, there's a fountain. Hello? I just made a wish. 
But I would meet my one true love today. A water fountain. You can see coins at the bottom. Little coins. That's... Huh. That's not weird. Ooh, we found a coin. We can make wishes? Ooh. Trash. Come on, Raven. Let's go to hobbies first. Okay. Well, hang... There's trash over there. Drink orange juice. Have you ever heard the phrase orange is the happiest color? No? Well, that's fine. Yes, no, but the same concept applies to orange juice, as vitamin C was essential for a healthy immune system functions. It's also an antioxidant that may have health benefits by protecting your cells from the free radical from free radical damage. A fruit cart. It's mostly full of oranges. Well, I'm not surprised. Uh, mailbox. Come on, Raven, let's go to hobbies first. Okay, hang on. I found a coin. I'm going to throw a coin in the fountain. Yes. Coin fell straight to the bottom. Okay. I threw a coin in the fountain. Well, here we are at Hobbies. It's probably been a while since we've been here. But it hasn't really changed all that much. It's all the same old stuff. Captain Spaceboy games, the sweetheart movies, a few pet rocks. I sent another adventures. Actually, since we're here, I should probably buy a gift for Hero. He's in college right now, but he should be coming back sometime tomorrow. He's studying to be a doctor, so maybe I should buy him some medicine? Oh, that's a horrible idea. You should help pick out the gift, Raven. Let's look around and see what there is. Some colorful CDs. Maybe just play them in a jukebox. These CDs look pretty cool, but I think Hera would appreciate something more sentimental. Let's keep looking. In a video game called Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater Revenge of the Mole 3. Rated M for Mature, huh? That's too violent right now. He definitely won't appreciate something like this. Okay. Chalk full of comics. I really threw these comics bring back so many memories. And it's just like old times, huh, Raven? Hero was never too interested in comics, though. Darn. Oh. This place is kind of small, but it has a lot of old and new collectibles. People even come all the way from the city to shop here. Ah. Hmm, we just did the comics, so we're good. A game called Captain Space Boy Space Adventure. Costs a dollar to play. Hey, Raven. Let's get Hero's gift first. We can play later. A poster for a new game where you can travel across different worlds. Something you haven't seen. Can I get him a soda? My favorite novel just got a comic adaptation. But the main character looks nothing like how I imagined him. Yeah, that happens a lot, actually. What's this? An old video game console system hooked up to the TV. I already have this console here. And I don't think I can afford to. A cardboard cutout of Captain Space. Chuck full of DVDs. A lot of these DVDs are catching dust. I'm sure we have most of these somewhere at home already. Probably also catching dust. An interesting poster. Wow, the monster in the poster looks so realistic. I'll bet fighting now would be a tough battle. <laughs> Will you challenge this monster to a battle? Yes.
Oh? Ribbon? First ribbon! Whoa, a CD fell from behind the poster. Weird. I wonder who hit there. I guess... We gonna see it. We got a Mary CD. Hey, cool. Wow, the monster supposed to look so realistic. I'll be fighting it. It'll be a tough battle. This is perfect! Papa Chips chip off the old black cookbook. Wow, that's a mouthful. We wrote a copy of this when we were kids, but our dog Hector destroyed it. This one is so happy when he sees this. But before that, we need to ask the most important question. How much does it cost? Twenty dollars? This is extortion! Shoot, I left my wallet at home. Uh, can you spot me right now? I'll pay you back, I promise. Thanks, friend. I know I could count on you. We took Hero's gift off the shelf. A bunch of small figurines. Poster for a new game where you can run around and fight evil monsters. On skateboards! A brand new game console system. Looks so shiny and sleek. Small candies. Hang on, do we have enough money? Yes, we do. We have thirty-three dollars. I need to buy this. Hey, Shopkeep, you guys buy this cookbook, please. Kill, how you been, buddy? It's been a while since you've come around, hasn't it? Ah, uh, that's Papa Chips chip off the old block cookbook. I see you have good taste. Yeah, my brother used to follow his recipes all the time. His cookies were my favorite. It's rare that I see another fan of Papa Chips work. That'll be twenty dollars, please. Thank you, kind sirs. Please enjoy. You got heroes here. Thanks a lot, Raven. I bet Hero would love this. What's this? A toy capsule machine. Try your luck for three dollars. Fine. Just once. What did we get? We got a red hand. Wow. What's this game? I'm gonna save my money. While I like experience. Just just gonna save my money. So where do you wanna go now, Raven? There's really not much to do around the suburbs, huh? Oh. How about the far away park? Yeah, the park. We were already there. We passed it. Bye on the way here. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Sure. Can I go into some of these stores now? Yo, I'm Michael, a soon-to-be-traveling musician. I've been playing guitar here at the town plaza for years now, but I think I'm finally ready to move on. Will you help me reach my goal? Anything will help. How much do you want to donate? Uh... $5? Wish you want to... Yeah... Donate $5 to the guitar game. Hmm. Because I'll still have... Quite a bit to go before I can afford to leave town. Thank you. In return, I'll play you an original song. Sounds familiar. He's still playing. Are you done now? That sounds very familiar. Um, Captain Space Boy is no longer on the thing now. Darn. Go into Geno's, because we need to buy food later. Kindly seat yourself. Hello, hello, my name is Gino. I know what you're thinking, and no, I don't know this place. They give me a free whole pizza for my birthday every year. So that's pretty cool. It's a pizza. Mmm, pizza. 
and life keeps telling me that I'm getting chubbier and tubbier, but I just can't help myself when we live so close to delicious food like Gino's Pizza. Oh, mmm, pizza. Pizza. So, I see you are peeking at that help wanted poster that I put there. Are you interested in a job? Yes. Cool. Let me help you get started. Oh, you're taking me to job, Raymond? In that case, I'll come back for you later. Work hard, okay? So you want to hear the good news or the bad news? I'll just start with the good news. So the good news is, we got three different pizza orders today. Bad news is, our delivery boy suddenly called in sick yet again. Three customers. These customers are all our regulars, so we st stopped recording their addresses a long time ago. I can't remember where they live off the top of my head, but I do remember what their houses look like. Here, let's take these notes and you'll be fine. Pizza man gave you his pizza notes. I'll go grab your uniform. Don't be shy. Wear your uniform loud and proud. Remember, you have three pizzas to deliver. When you're done, just bike your way back to the shop. I'm counting on you. Bike. We get a bike? Can you find the house that has the something in the yard and the brown rug? I think that's posts. Brown rug. We're just gonna look for the brown rug. I think it's that one. Yeah, pretty sure it's that one. Pizza delivery! Who are you? We didn't order no dang pizza. Get the heck out of here. That didn't go so well. You should find the right house. The house with the... How dare you bring pizza to my strictly vegan household? You should be ashamed. That ain't as well. Okay, that one is definitely green. That one looks kind of bluish. That one is white. That one looks brown. Gosh dang it. That one's blue. That one's green. Blackish. Pizza delivery. The stranger snatched the pizza. You have failed to deliver the pizza. It's time to move on to the next order. Oops. Okay. Let <sighs> me see the note. Take this pizza. The house car. The house with the parked car in the driveway and the brown roof with dark green chimney. Okay. The pink car. The pink car in the driveway. Brown roof with dark green chimney. Alright. Pink car. I can't take the trash. Darn it. Pink car. Pink car. Brown roof. Looks like a green chimney. Can I take your... No. Pizza delivery! Delicious, delicious pizza. Coming for you, baby. I guess all odds you have successfully delivered the pizza. Time to move on to the next order. Gosh dang. Can I go home? <laughs> Down the street to the house with the cones out front and the light brown brick front. Ooh, I like this house. They're classy. I think this is it. 
Pizza delivery! Thanks. That's all of them. Time to head back to Gino's Pizza. I think I missed one. Hey, maybe. You're just the guy I wanted to see. According to some recent feedback, it seems that your customer satisfaction rating, rating is 7 out of 10. Anyway, here's some monies. Maybe you can use it to buy some pizza. $20 for your hard work, nice. And since you've been such a good sport, here's another freebie. You got Otherworldly CD. Hmm, nice. One of my all-time favorite tunes. You can play it in, at the jukebox right down yonder. Hey, Raven. How do you do on your job? While you were working, I decided to sit on a bench and talk to strangers. Man, that was fun. Well, I'm ready to go when you are. Hey, kiddos. You caught me on my break. I've been trying to decide what to eat for a good ten minutes, but I don't know why I'm fussing so much. Whenever I get a shirt, it'll be good. <laughs> okay, we got twenty dollars for working. I'm right. I take pride in being a musical connoisseur of sorts. If you play a CD on the jukebox over there, I bet I can tell you who the artist or the track is. Okay. Chilled sodas and drinks. Consider the otherworldly CD into Gino's jukebox. You said insert the Mary CD into Gino's jukebox. Yes. I'm right. I take pride in being a musical connoisseur of sorts. I know this song. It's an original song by Toby Fox. Advertisements. In a game. Doesn't look like it's working. Okay. We're gonna leave that. Other Mart. Is that where we got the thing for Other World? Oh, we can't run in here. Gosh darn. Wow, this is huge. Okay, never mind. We're gonna go find. I am overtime. We're gonna go find a safe spot. I'll show you where the safe spot is, so that y'all know that where we're gonna start from next time. The fix-it store? They need to fix their stuff. I remember there being a, a thing at the park, but... Dude, I can't help you. You're on your own. Uh-oh. There's some commotion going on over there. Let's check it out. This ain't none of my business. If you got beef with her, then talk to her yourself, you creep. I'm begging you. you. Just ask her to give it back. She won't listen to me. Wait. Is that... That's Basil. Leave him alone, you bully. Huh? Who's there? Oh, it's just Kel. Why don't you mind your own business? Well, why don't you go bother someone else, Kim? Psh. Why aren't you acting all high and mighty? You don't make the rules around here. What's going on over there? It's a bicycle gang. Ooh. Gosh dang. Oh, hey, Aubrey? This nerd Kel just showed up and thinks he can boss me around. Want to show him what's what? Kel. What do you want? Stop messing with Basil. 
How could you? We all used to be friends, don't you remember? Tell her, Raven. Raven's here? Wow. It really is you. It's been a while, but you haven't changed a bit. How long has it been since you left your house? Three years? Maybe four. Must have been nice to live in your own little bubble. Watch it, Aubrey. You don't know what he's been through. <laughs> Whatever. Aubrey, please, listen to me. <coughs> hey! Hey, stop that! Leave it alone, Kel. This isn't your problem. What the heck is wrong with you, Aubrey? Raven, come on, we've got to do something. <laughs> Are you guys really picking a fight? Sure, why not? The two of you against me? How's that sound? Come at me. I'll take on the bullet. She's angry. Are you okay? You're, you're hurt. I, I'm fine. No, you're not. You're bleeding. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. Ugh. I'll get you back for this. What were you gonna do? Like, come on. Besides, you hurt Basil. Well, that was about to get really messy. Good thing you had your knife there, or we would've... Wait a sec. Give me that. Kel took away your steak knife. You shouldn't be carrying things around like this, Raven. That's dangerous. <sighs> Aubrey's really changed since you last saw her. Her and her new friends have been nothing but trouble. Poor Basil. I'll check if he's okay. Hey, Basil. How are you doing? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. Yo. I don't know if you've noticed, but Raven is here too. Say hi, Raven. Oh, hey, Raven. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Woohoo! What a happy reunion. So, did you want to hang out with us today? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'd love to, but I... I should probably head home. Huh? Really? Are you sure? My, um... My grandma hasn't been feeling too well lately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I us at least walk you home. It's been so long since we've all hung out. Oh. Alright then. Thank you. Um... Weren't you guys just going to drop me off? Oh, gosh darn it. That's diagonal from ours. From, from, from a crosswalk. Diagonal? So you mean this way? Or is it this way? He said, yeah.
with all the plants. There's Bathroom House. It's that one with the green roof. <laughs> and all the plants. Problemo. If you ever need anything from me, just ask, okay? We'll catch you later, Basil. Basil. Oh, okay. Wait, please don't go. Uh, I mean, I I'm so sorry. I actually have a favor to ask. Anything, Basil. What do you need? Well, you see... Something important was taken from me. When we used to be friends. Do you remember how I used to take pictures of everyone? Of course I remember. Those photos meant everything to you. Uh, right. Well, Aubrey. She took my photo album and... Aubrey stole your photo album? Well, she... She won't give it back. What a scumbag. Don't you worry about a thing, Basil. Me and Raven got you covered. Uh, okay. Thank you. By the way, not what you said before. We're still friends. I want you to know that, okay? Okay. Well, I'll see you later. Even. There's no time to lose. We got a photo album to find. Let's check Faraway Park for clues. Hey, gosh dang. Let's check Faraway Park for the darn safe spot. Thank you. Safe. Thank you. Okay. We are going to end things here. This is a lot to uncover. That thing is shaking. Um, this is this is a lot to unpack. Hopefully, we'll be able to figure more stuff out. But yeah, this is. Ooh, real life is much more, much more complicated. Um, I did see another job sign in the other world mart, so we might go and poke that a little bit as well uh, next time. But yeah, for now, we're figuring out... Gosh. Aubrey has pink hair. Didn't she have, like, really dark hair, too? That's gonna be... Hmm. Thinking real-world things. Anyway, um... So yeah. We're gonna end things here, and next time we will see how things have changed with Aubrey and Basil and Hero, and how things have changed with, with everyone. And uh, we'll go from there. So, thank y'all so much for joining me today. If y'all could do, please leave a like. Uh, leave any tips, tricks, suggestions in the comment section down below. And do please subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.